From May 2017, Vattenfall, the energy company owned by the Swedish state, experiments with blockchain technology in the energy sector. The organization has joined forces with 22 European firms to enable peer-to-peer -peer transactions on the energy market with DLT. According to companies, decentralization of the energy industry will help to reduce costs due to the elimination of middle parties. March 2018 Software company Symantec Corp has reported that Sweden becomes a crypto jacker oasis. Crypto jackers are stealing the capacity and energy to mine crypto coins. According to Symantec, in this case, hackers don't put themselves under risk. Sweden is countries with high power computers and big interest in crypto coins. Therefore, illegal mining is widespread there. March 30th, Sweden is planning to release its own national cryptocurrency, e-krona, based on IOTA. Riksbank, the Swedish central bank, sees the national crypto coin as the equivalent to traditional fiat currency. To launch e-krona, CB has partnered with 19 other organizations, and the project is expected to be ready by late 2019. June 13th. The Swedish crypto exchange, BTCX, has acquired a crypto trading platform, Nova. Now, the exchange is planning to expand to most of the world countries and to add new digital coins to the trading list. Let's remember that in June 2017, the exchange platform was joined by the member of Swedish parliament, Matthias Sudin. The politician's aim was to bring attention to one of the oldest European Bitcoin exchanges. June 15th, Swedish Land Ownership Authority, the Land Matriet, and a group of partnering banks and companies have completed the third phase of the blockchain pilot project regarding land ownership. Together with such organizations as SBAB Bank and Land Shypertech, Companies have testified property transactions with DLT. The advantage of DLT use in real estate industry is the risk reduction and elimination of paperwork.